All right, it's a new day for my climb to a thousand chess elo. Uh, I had a couple losses off camera, so I'm still roughly at the same elo. So I'm starting the day at 729. So let's start a new game and see if we can climb a little bit. Really quick announcement. I've, um, I started streaming on Twitch. Uh, I started streaming some of my games on Twitch yesterday. I mostly play in the evenings around like 10 or 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, and I'll have a link to uh, my Twitch channel uh, in my bio on my channel page if you're interested in watching. So pretty standard opening so far. Nothing weird yet. I've been noticing that in my games... Um, I've been getting the light square bishop out before I develop my um, my queenside knight onto the third rank. And what I've been getting myself into is that I castle a little bit too early without developing the, the queen side of my board. And then um, I tend to really fall behind on development. So I'm trying to develop a little bit more here before I start attacking. Yeah, I've been playing some games with um, some of the viewers on the stream. That's been pretty fun. So if you want to play a game with me, um, try to catch the stream, and um, I'll usually be open to uh, play a game. I'll play with anyone that's like high, uh, higher rated than me as well, too. It's not a big deal. I want to take here. I want the potential. I know he has two defenders on e4. He has his pawn and his knight. So he'll come out ahead if I take here. If I take, he takes. Take, he takes. So he's going to be up. Hmm. Let's see. Do I want to push? If I let him capture here, I can develop my queen. So maybe it's better for me to just develop something here. I think I'll just do this. If he captures my knight, I think it'll put my bishop in a better spot. If he captures my pawn, I'll just retake. I wonder if I should recapture d3 with my Bishop or the queen. I'm thinking queen just to get her out. In a lot of my previous games, it looks like he's planning on something like this. I think that was a blunder on his part. I think he just blundered. Or she just I just looked at the name Sink Sinkwa. How do I pronounce? It? Have to jump back here to E two. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I wonder if I should just capture here. That'll ruin his whole pawn structure on the D and the E files. 
So if I take, he takes, I take. It's going to stack my pawns, though. That'll be a little bit weird. I wonder if that's the end of the world. I could always jump back and then try to do... I can jump back, push this pawn, jump this way. I can go h1, f2, or h1, f3. Possibility. I think I'm just going to do that. Oh, well. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have let him do that. I think oh, I just opened myself up. If there's anything I can do to sort of... Maybe I'll just go attack his queen since he left his knight hanging. I mean, if he wants to... Oh boy. I think I just have to do this, right? I think that was a blunder on his part. Two attacks here. Well, this is protected anyway. Hmm. Maybe I should push here. No, that's could always do that. Actually, this seems like a good move. I do like f4. f4. He could take with his bishop. I can take with his pawn. Either way, I feel like his queen is going to be forced to jump. Seems like a decent move. Probably go here. He. She. I'm guessing this is a lady. Judging by the name and the profile picture. You can always go backwards too. The H file's almost open. If it wasn't for this pawn, I could start looking at queen moves on the H file. You will go for a bishop trade here. Doing okay on time. I'm happy to make this trade, actually. I have a lot of good jumps. I think he should push this pawn. Hmm. See. Capture, capture. Still pretty well defended. Let him capture there. Her. Her. Keep saying that. Maybe I go on f4 and fix my pawn structure on the king side. Put 
But then I'm a bit stuck. Like more. I think I'll just capture with the pawn. I have a four pawn chain going there. That's fine. Um, this just seems like the play, right? Capture d3. Or maybe no, I don't. I can't put him in. Check. Can't put him in check. Can't put her in check. I'm gonna get it right eventually. Could no, I'm not. I don't want to mess up pawn structure. She's a bit stuck with her queen here as well. I think I'll challenge the rook and then go for check. And I have a nice fork here if she takes. I have a nice fork. She takes. Sure. So I can probably get my rooks out at this point. I need to play a little bit faster up. I'm uh, up quite a bit in material, so I'm not too concerned. I did just lose a game recently where I was up uh, five points. And I still lost because of some bad moves. So I don't want to get overconfident. I'll attack the rook. Interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That's a really good move. A lie. Queen trade. Uh, I didn't see that. Huh. I probably should have blocked with the rook there, huh? Yeah, nice move. Okay. Now we're playing. That was a really good move. I didn't see that. I did not see that as a threat. I really don't want to stalemate here. Challenge the queen, maybe? Back the queen?
I don't think that was the play. I have to be careful. I'm really low on time. I have to play a bit faster here. What do you guys think is the right move here? The heart racing. I'm talking a little bit quiet here because the baby's sleeping. So he's going to sack. Going for the night and really want to get my rook out. Ah, oh, fortunate. How do I win this? That's a really good play. Um, Maybe I just start pushing on the king side. Oh, I think I just lost my bishop. This is check, and then he takes. But then I could recapture his queen. Maybe he should. Maybe he should move to f6. This king. Maybe she should move to f6 with her queen. Yeah, I saw that coming. I just have to push and hope for a blunder. That's about all I can do, I think. It's not looking good. Yeah, there's probably no way I can win just because of time here. It'll be pretty close though. Maybe I can get a stay in it. Get a threefold. Let's see if she notices that. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, there's no hope here. <laughs> no. Ugh, oh, what a mistake. Oh, that was such a mistake. I shouldn't have pushed that pawn. Ugh. Oh. Oh, pushing the pawn there was a mistake. Should have moved the king. That's a bummer. That's a big bummer. I think her... Let's see, so I played at 800. She played at 900. I played at 70% accuracy. She was at 72. That was a good game. Um, I had the advantage there for quite a while. And then I threw it away with one bad move and then I regained a huge advantage at the end and also threw it away. Um, let's see, let's do the review. So what should I have done instead of, let's see, where was it? Looking for the, the rook push here. This was really good. 
Yeah, so I should have blocked this either with the rook or with the knight. This just went over my head. I thought she was going this way. I thought she was just going to start attacking the pawns. And so I was trying to defend with the queen here. But that's obviously a mistake. wonder if there's something else that I could have done to attack her queen. Mm. So where should I have gone instead? Here. Could have checked here. Right, then the rook trade probably would have been better here on the D file. So bring this out. Trade potentially. It would have been a little bit better. Okay, well that was a good game. I think the lesson there was try to respect rooks on the seventh and the second ranks. Uh, a little bummed I didn't notice this. This definitely threw the game away for me. That was a really good move, though. I wonder if there was anything else I could have done there. Yeah, I was forced to make this move. This was my only valid move, really. I guess I could have developed the rook on f1 a little bit earlier, too, so I could have at least moved the king over one square. Since um, since g2 was attacked by the pawn, maybe I could have just moved the king earlier or just moved the rook earlier. I got him into a bit of a pickle here in the corner. So that makes sense. That was a pretty good game. We lost a little bit of elo there. That's okay. It was fun. Um, definitely some learning lessons in there. But uh, thanks for watching. And see you guys in the next one.